I have something to say. I've been a proud Alacrity user for some time now. It's been easy to configure. It's built on Rust, by the way, and it just kind of gets out of my way and it does whatever I want it to do without really too much fuss. But recently, I've been using a program, a terminal file manager called Yazi, and there's been one feature that's just missing in Alacrity, like nowhere to be found, and it's present in another terminal emulator. So I'm ditching Alacrity for something else. That something else is Kitty. Meow. But there's just one problem. My Kitty configuration looks like garbage. So in this video, I'm going to configure Kitty to look just like my beautiful Alacrity terminal, which of course is right here on my left. And I'm going to show off the one amazing killer feature that has me switching from my beautiful Alacrity terminal to Kitty. So buckle up nerds, this is gonna be a fun ride. So you might be asking yourself, what is Kitty anyways? Well, it's a terminal emulator and it claims to be a very fast terminal emulator because it bases a lot of its computation on the GPU of your machine, right? So it uses the GPU to render text and to do other things. And it's supposed to be much more performant than any other terminal emulator that's out there, or at least most of the other ones. Now, Kitty comes with a lot of cool things out of the box, like emojis, font ligatures, really great font rendering in general, and it's easy to install. So for me, I can just use pacman or yay which is the aur helper i'm using for pacman and i can install kitty just like that and there you go kitty is installed it's as easy as that and so now i can open up kitty no problem but there's just one issue it looks like crap out of the box so i want to now make my configuration for kitty look just like my configuration for alacrity and then i want to go over the amazing feature that i love about kitty and the reason why i'm switching to it in the first place so let's go over the configuration now kitty has the most amazing framework for creating scripts and and creating other features that can take advantage of some of Kitty's underlying API. And that framework is called Kittens. Now, Kittens is super interesting, and there's a lot of stuff that comes out of the box with Kittens on Kitty. If you just open up Kitty and type Kitten, you can see that there's already a lot of commands built in. And one of my favorite ones, and the first one we're gonna be using here to change our configuration for our color theme is going to be Kitten. Theme. And as you can see, it brings up a list of color themes that we can actually search through by typing slash. Now we type slash and I want to search for my favorite configuration theme, which is Capuchin, of course. And by the way, I'm just realizing Capuchin and Kitty, I mean, <laughs> That's just a match made in heaven right there. So now you can search for the color theme that you want with slash. And I can type my favorite color scheme, which is Capuchin, of course. Now I hit enter to complete my search. I can go up and down using Vim motions. And what do you know? Capuchin Mocha is right here. So I hit enter to select it. Now it gives me another screen and it asks me what I would like to do. And for this screen, I would like to modify my kitty.conf to load Capuchin Mocha. Cool, let's do that. I hit M to modify. And look at that, my theme is already the same as my Alacrity theme. It's already looking amazing. Truly, Kitty has the easiest way to switch your themes out of the box for any terminal emulator that I've used personally. Maybe some are better, I don't know. But for me personally, this has been the best one that I've ever used. A really great feature. So now if we go to our configuration directory under the Kitty directory, we can see that there's a currentTheme.conf and a kitty.conf file. This was generated for us. If we check out the kitty.com file really quick, we can see that it includes the currentTheme.conf. Perfect. So now Kitty is configured with Capuchin. Excellent. All right, now let's make a couple more changes because our fonts aren't really what we want them to be and we want this to look a little bit better. So the next thing we want to do here is actually change our font and our kitty configuration to match what we have in Alacrity. That'll give us better parity between our two terminal emulators. Now you can see in the amazing kitty documentation, all we have to do is specify a font family and we can specify bold italic or bold italic fonts, whatever we want to do. So let's go back to our configurations. Now we can see that our Alacrity config, we already have a bold bold font and italic and all the other stuff. So we can kind of copy this line by line and just match the same format that Kitty wants for its configuration. So for our font family, we could just type font family space and we want Meslo LGS nerd font mono. That is what we have in our Alacrity configuration. And that's what we're gonna have in our Kitty configuration. Very good. And now it looks like we can do the same thing for our bold font, our italic font, and our bold italic fonts. So we can see that we can specify a bold font, an italic font, and a bold italic font from Kitty in our configuration. So now let's go back to our configuration and let's just paste in the example that we see here just to make it a little bit easier. And I think auto will work. So let's quit this and then exit. And then now let's reopen Kitty. And yes, it looks like our font is amazing. We have Meslo LGS 
JS nerd font. That is the same font that we have in Alacrity. And you can already see that our kitty configuration looks almost the exact same as Alacrity. Actually, it looks exactly the exact same. Amazing. So with just a few lines of configuration, we can get parity between kitty and Alacrity. Kitty is already really easy to work with. That's great. Now, of course, I'm not switching to kitty just because it's easy to change my color scheme and because the configuration is easy to work with. I mean, Alacrity's configuration is also easy to work with. Why is that a main differentiator for Kitty over Alacrity? Well, it isn't. Like I said, there was one killer feature of Kitty that is the reason I'm switching to Kitty over Alacrity. Let me show it off. This is actually my Alacrity terminal emulator. And if I open up Yazi, which is a fantastic file manager for the terminal, if I open it up in Yazi, I want to scroll down to some of my images but I'm not getting any previews. Why am I not getting any previews? Well, that's because Yazi doesn't support image rendering in the terminal out of the box, but guess what does? That's right. Kitty does. Meow. Kitty out of the box uses a terminal graphics protocol to draw images in the terminal. So if I were to exit out of my alacrity and then open Kitty, if I run Yazi in Kitty and then scroll down to some of my images, look at this. I get image rendering in Kitty by default out of the box. Kitty is amazing. So if you package together the image rendering along with all the performance improvements using the GPU acceleration, the great graphics, the great amazing font ligatures that are supported out of the box, and emojis that makes kitty a wonderful terminal and that's why i'm going to use it from this point forward easy to work with shows images in the terminal allows me to use yazi in the terminal without feeling like an idiot for not seeing my images it's perfect subscribe to this channel for more terminal stuff and hey thanks nerds